everyone, so today I am going to do a sort of crazy eye makeup look. I am thinking I want to use be bleh, blue mascara because I accidentally opened a blue mascara and now I'm like panicking that it's going to go off before I get the chance to use it in a tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to base a look around blue mascara, maybe blue eyeliner, let's see, I don't know. I'm going to start with some uh, skin food. Lily and Zeus are running around chasing each other and barking and growling. <sighs> I'm going to start with some Skin Food Red Orange Makeup Finish Glossy Type Spray. Mm. Just because it's really hydrating. I'm going to use my Prime Time by Bare Minerals. This is almost out. I already bought it back up. As I was saying. I'm just going to put this all over. I have a whole lot of fake tan on, so I might use my Dark and Night Shade Glow. I'm out of Punjab, which is my normal shade. I've ordered a new one, it's on its way to me. But I'm having Nars Shade Glow withdrawal, so hopefully this matches me. This shade is in Barcelona, it's a little bit darker. I'm just gonna check. I might actually have to mix it a little bit, it's just a tad. I'm mixing it with my Makeup Forever HD, which is a little bit too light for me. It's in the shade 120 again. Now, fingers crossed this works. I just took a photo back, isn't it? <laughs> I am so happy today, you guys. I'm sorry if this video is really long, but I'm just feeling really, really happy. Um, the weather outside is so beautiful. It's so sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is warm. Spring is coming. I'm so happy. I feel more positive. Like, I try to be positive all the time. You guys know that, but something about the sun shining and the birds singing just makes me so much happier. I'm not a fan of winter at all. I really... Like, if I had enough money to just travel around the world and avoid winter altogether, I would totally do it. Nars uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla for underneath my eyes. Actually, too late did it. I'm going to put on Shadow Guard still, but I'm going to have to touch up stuff afterwards now. And a little bit of custard, same concealer, and, and on these stupid breakout scars. I just want to use shadow shields today because I want perfect eyeliner and every time I want perfect eyeliner my eyeliner is not perfect. I'm using a little bit of a revital lash while I remember. I keep forgetting to use it because it hasn't been next to my bed like normal. I'm using my EXO Beauty eyebrow brush and I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in blonde. Mine's gone all like chunky on the top. I've had to like waste so much product peeling it away because it's like rubber. Like you push your brush into it, it's just like bouncy, it has no colour payoff. You can like dig it all off and then use all the fresh stuff underneath. It's so weird. I think I like my MAC one more, but I don't know where my MAC one is right now. I think it's in my luggage because we went to Wellington the other week and I haven't unpaid yet. <laughs> this brush is so fast. This brush definitely gives you more natural brows. So if you like really harsh to find brows, go for something thinner, but this one's a little bit thicker. So I like to use it on days when, one, I'm lazy and can't be bothered spending 20 minutes on my brows, or two, when I want natural brows. I just got something really cool, this brow pen by Anastasia. I was so scared of it because I thought it'd be super opaque, but it's actually like really sheer so you can draw in little hairs and they don't look unnatural. So I like to just go in where I've got some sparse areas and draw in little hairs. And it looks so good. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with this song. a while out if you didn't know. Note to self, buy more shadow shields after this video because I could only find like four. Oh no. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these on now. I'm gonna start with Bare Minerals Soul Pigment. I love this colour. It's like a good highlighting shade but it's just a really light yellowy shimmery, like slightly satin shimmery colour. So funny how sometimes the prettiest eyeshadows are the most simple colours like this. How about the shade Bronze by Makeup Store? I'm going to do something with this. Um, as you can see, Louie got a hold of this one. So, excuse that. This is an angled eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put this here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Remember from my haul, I got this Persia eyeshadow by Nars. And I was like, shall I use it? In a tutorial, people are like, yeah, do it, because it's so cool. I wonder if this goes with blue. I'm putting this 
on the outer third and into my crease a bit more. I think I might use this colour on the bottom lash line, the Comex Copper Stila eyeshadow. Okay, I am so scared this is going to look awful. Is this still going to look good with like bright pink lips? I don't know, I really wanted to do bright pink lips. Oh, uh, this eye, how, mm, what am I going to do? Okay. See what happened with that dodgy brush? It just drew all over my eyelid. So this is Makeup Geek Electric. So I've never tried any gel eyeliner by Makeup Geek before, but you guys know I love Makeup Geek, so hopefully it's good. Oh my god, look. <laughs> it's just going with um, one of the Urban Decay Electric colors. My favourite, Bronze Ambition by Chi Chi. I'm just smudging that under my eye a little bit. I'm going to mix it on the little tray with some mi mixing medium. Okay, so I've just blended it out with a cotton bud. As you can see, it's quite messy. So now we will clean everything up with cotton buds and concealer. This is NARS Vanilla again. I'm just applying a little bit of that under my eyes to conceal. What do you guys think so far? It's kind of fun. I'm using a little bit of Bare Minerals while rested just to set that. I'm using my Cover FX G30 powder. Now to set the powders, I'm going to use my Dewy Mist Spray by Leo Ali. Okay, let's get these eyes done. I'm going to use falsies. So I'm hoping for like an ombre black and blue effect. I'm going to put on blue mascara, put on the falsies, and then kind of cover the front part of the falsies. So like when I look down, they look black and blue. And then when I'm up, they just look blue. Well, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. We'll see. These are the XO Beauty Gold Digger lashes. So I'm just going to pop those. Whoa, what accent was that? Pop those down. Okay, so this is the next blue colour mascara. Let's do this. This reminds me of when I was like 12 and me and my friend had blue mascara and blue eyeliner and we'd wear like only blue mascara or only blue eyeliner. We'd like do it to school, we're at school and we got in so much trouble from my parents. They're like, you're not allowed to wear makeup. We thought it was so badass. And I'm going to be using my Adele Brush On Lash Adhesive. This one's latex free and you can buy it from EXO Beauty as well. Uh, Louie got to the end of that as well. The good thing about this glue is it has like no dry time. Like you don't have to sit there waiting for it to get tacky. But it doesn't last as long as duo. So I use this more just for like clubbing nights out and stuff like that. Not when I want to wear them all day long. Just for a few hours where it's good. Okay, I'm happy so far. It reminds me of that look I did with blue lips only because it's the same colour scheme like on my eyes I did like copper and then I did blue lips and it's almost like that and just my eye wall. I'm gonna link that down below if you want to see my blue lip tutorial go check it out it reminds me a lot of this but I'm gonna do bright lips. Uh, first I'm gonna do skin. This here is the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzing Powder. Now I was recommended this, I was recommended this by one of my very good friends Ellie so let's see if it's good. And this is where we even out our skin tone so we don't look so scary white like on this side. Look, I'll do one side so you can see the difference. You're going to be like, oh my god, Shannon, you've caked on too much stuff. Which I did, but that's not the point. I can make it look good still. So for my brush line, I started developing this little guy. Look how cute he is. Voila. Check out that difference. Boom, cheekbones. Round face. Cheekbones. Round face. I haven't used my Mary Luminizer in a while, so I'm going to apply a little bit of this and then I'm going to save my blush to last. I don't know if I need it or not with bright pink lips. I'm starting with lip liner. This is MAC Shock Value. It's just a really bright neon pink. It's so funny because it's sunny outside and really warm. Louis is actually like not sitting next to me while I'm filming. He's out, out, he's out outside exploring. 
He never goes outside. He hates going outside. Like, the only reason he goes outside is go to the bathroom, and then he's straight back inside again. So it's quite funny. Like, he's just exploring. I'm, like, watching him. He's just, like, walking around, having a smell. Having a smell. And then this is the Pout About It lip color by Sports Girl. I bought these online, and this is called Mad About You. I've never used it before, swatched or anything. This seems to be a matte finish, though. I feel like doing glossy. I've just been in love with lip gloss lately, like glossy lips. Don't know why, but just am. Okay, so for lip gloss, I'm using the Buxom. This wasn't a set, um, but it's the Buxom lip gloss. It's called Strut It. So I don't know if it's permanent or not, but I'm just using something that's kind of similar. That lip colour. Uh-huh. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Do you reckon I need blush? I feel like I need just a little bit. I don't want to use too much because it'll obviously be too much, but I just feel like I need to incorporate a bit more pink into the cheeks and like freshen it up a bit. It's a bit too flat. This is Pinch a Peach by MAC. That's better, just like the tiniest amount. Look at the difference. And the lips. My extensions don't match perfectly yet because when I get my roots done, I'm going to get them to like perfectly color match them. They're a little bit too yellow for my hair, but we are rolling with it today. Alright. <sighs> so yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. People ask me why I ask you to thumbs up. Honestly, the only reason I ask you to thumbs up is because it really helps me get more reach. Sometimes when you thumbs up, your friends will see it on like your YouTube channel, it'll come up more in related videos, it'll come up more on like popular pages, it'll come up more on Twitter. It just really helps me get more exposure and reach a wider audience, which in turn can help me get a bigger audience, which is awesome and really just, yeah, that's how it helps me out. Did that answer your question? I hope so. So yeah, I really appreciate it when you guys Thumbs up my video, comment, share, it makes my day. I started following a bunch of you on Twitter, and I'm really getting into Twitter now. I don't know why it's taking me so long, but I'm really, really into it. So, you guys should tweet me your favorite dirt face from this video, and I will choose my favorites, and retweet them, and follow some people. Have the most amazing, safe day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Okay, so my eyeliner is a fail today. It's like way too long and thick and stuff, but... I'm rolling with it because you know what happens when you try to fix your eyeliner? It senses fear. So the lashes I am going to use, I'm really excited about. These are out very soon on EXO Beauty. I am in love. Like, check this out. What? Ico Skinny Brush. This one's like brand new.